Okay, uh, these are the, those little piezoelectric elements. I got a whole bunch of these from a surplus store in California years ago. I've used them for all kinds of things. Um, I think I paid a nickel apiece for them. They make pretty good vibration sensors and also speakers. Here I've got one hooked up to uh, the red output lead of my function generator. And then I'm going to take the other output lead of the function generator and just touch it to the surface there. So you can see that there's pretty good output from these little puppies. It's your standard uh, uh, buzzer speaker thing. Uh. Okay, so that's what I'm going to use. What did I do with it? I have a magnet, wire wrapped magnet coil around here somewhere. I usually put magnet stuff up there. Uh, what did I do with it? Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. So here, there it is. Here, inside here. I can't let go of that. Inside here is my stack of magnets. I don't have one individual magnet, but I made a little spool out of stacking um, these round magnets together with bigger ones on the end. I can't take it out of there, but it's a bifiler coil, uh, 150 and 150 turns of number 27 magnet wire wrapped around this little spool that I made out of a stack of small diameter magnets and then larger diameter magnets for the end pieces. Uh, and then I wrapped that whole thing in aluminum foil tape. Okay, here's the final thing. Uh, there's the coil in there, and I've got a piezo glued to the end, and then a little full wave bridge made out of Schottky diodes there. And then there's two LEDs, two identical red LEDs, one on the output and one just right across the input. So this LED is being driven by the raw output of the function generator, and then this LED is the output of the so called magnetic resonance amplifier. Okay, so I'm going to Right now I'm feeding it with a sine wave, so I'm going to turn up the uh, turn up the frequency. And I guess you can see that uh, with those audio frequencies, there's not not a lot of output yet with a sine wave. So let me switch that to a, to a bipolar square wave. Now you can see that there's a little bit of output uh, with the bipolar square wave going down. No big changes there. Okay. But uh, let's go back to the sine wave. And then let's go to some higher frequencies. And this is where things get interesting. Okay. So here you can see that uh, we're way above the sonic frequencies now. We're at uh, about six, about 60k, 60 kilohertz. And you can see that there's no light on the input, but there is a good amount of light on the output. And now I'm going to go through the frequency range again. Uh, this is going down. This is slow frequency about 16 kilohertz here. Input LED is glowing brightly but there's nothing in the output LED and we're still on a sine wave. If I go to a square wave you get uh, some output but input is still brighter than the output. Let me go back to the sine wave. Okay. Now I'm going to scan through the frequencies getting higher and higher and higher. There where the input bulb goes out that's uh, 73 kilohertz. Now I'm going higher and higher and higher and higher. And look at there, there's a little oscillation there. Switch between which one. I'm going down now, so now we're, now we're down uh, 40 kilohertz. 
going up, 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 up. Right there is 73 kilohertz. Further up, 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 up. Now there's a little flicker there back and forth at 98 kilohertz. Now we're going further up, 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 up. Let's see, there, right there, is 126 kilohertz, and you can see we have very dim glow in the input bulb, but really buku brightness on the output. So we'll continue going up, 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 up higher and higher and higher in frequency until, uh, let's see. This is uh, 394 kilohertz, and the output bulb is much brighter than the input bulb. Is that showing up on there? on there? And then if I go to a square wave, both bulbs get quite a bit brighter, but the output bulb is still much brighter than the input bulb uh, at a frequency of uh, just about 400 kilohertz. Now if I go even higher than that, now I'm at just below 4 megahertz and uh, square wave going down, 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 down. So at the higher frequencies, like 4 megahertz, this right now is 150 megahertz, I mean 150 kilohertz, sorry. Uh, output bulb is much brighter than the input bulb. I don't know what all this means. It's just a report. Thank you for watching.